Hello guys, I am Yash. Today I will show you how to pass data from one view controller to another view controller. And we will also be using Segway. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project, single view application, product name, passing data, PC. Uh, do compare the settings, hit next. Save it wherever you want. I'll select iPhone 6. So under view, uh, main dot storyboard, first of all, uh, let's give this uh, view a background color. Uh, no, let's <laughs> first drag and drop one more view controller. Okay. Uh, we need one text field. Here we have it. Uh, one button and. Uh, let's say one more button over here and uh, a label label goes here so let's give constraints uh, to all these objects so for text field it will be 50 from top and 0 from left and 0 from right and constraint to margin and give it a fixed height say items of new constraints so this will adapt to the new settings hit add for the button it will be say saying go and bump up the size a bit and uh, let's give it constraints it will be vertically and horizontally in container and it will have a fixed height and width width will be 150 and height will be say 50 and items of new constraints so that it adapts to the new constraints hit next okay and for label it will be um let's say 50 from top and uh, 50 from left and 50 from right and a fixed height of let's say 75 and say items of new constraints hit add uh, centrally aligned and uh, let's increase the size a bit and this will be back okay simple back button and again constraints will be vertically and horizontally in container and uh, fix width and height of uh, 150 to let's say 75 hit add and press command option equal to set it to the new size and uh, let's bump up the size again okay so we are done here let's give some colors here i like colors or light gray over here and uh, light yellow over here okay so we need to create a swift file for this uh, view controller so let's okay let's do one thing let's just create our segue over here so hit control uh, first select the first view controller uh, we can select a view controller by clicking this yellow button so hit control and click and drag over to the next view controller and say show and this is our segue click on the segue and uh, you will see under attribute inspector identifier give it name say go okay and uh, this is very important you make sure that you do this okay so let's now uh, create file for this second view controller it will be select uh, right click over here say new file it will be coco touch class file second view controller okay and it will be sub it will be subclass of ui view controller hit next save uh, save it create and here it is so let's get rid of this boilerplate code so now we need to connect all the stuff here so first of all let's start with our first view controller open your assistant editor first we will control drag our text field so control drag and say name field and it will be an outlet hit connect and uh, for the button it will be an action so control drag again it will be go pressed and say action of type ui button hit connect now select second view controller now uh, okay we forgot to assign a swift file to the second view controller so select this view controller over here go to identity inspector and here just start typing second 
and you uh, it will auto complete and hit enter okay enter hitting enter is really important if you forget to hit enter it will not get assigned to the class file okay so let's uh, click it again so now we have it here our, uh, this is our second view controller file uh, do check this name okay so let's first control drag our label it will be name label it will be an outlet and back will be an action okay so back pressed okay so we are uh, done with connecting stuff so let's uh, change to standard editor hop over to our second view controller so first we need to create a variable variable name to display and uh, let's uh, initialize it with empty string okay okay this is wrong we created an uh, i create an outlet here for back button so let's get rid of this here and under main dot storyboard uh, right click over here and hit cross over here again assistant editor and let's a second file and control drag back button say back pressed it will be action of ui button hit connect so now we are good to go back to standard editor and over back pressed uh, simple we will just say dismiss and it will be true and completion handler will be nil okay now the main thing is performed over our first file so first of all under go pressed we will perform segue perform segue with identifier is the name which we gave to our segue and uh, sender will be self this go is what we named here this thing okay this thing this thing this go okay this is really important and uh, after the uh, ib action gets completed type prepare and here we will find a function which is uh, prepared for segue okay so here we create a constant let destination view controller is equal to segue dot destination okay as we will downcast it to a, a new swift file okay this our second view controller so say second view controller autocomplete now it's really simple we will just say dest destination vc dot name okay we need to save it over here so just say uh, press command save and say destination vc dot name to display will be our name field text okay so it will be name field dot txt and uh, we will forcefully unwrap it so save it and uh, last thing we need to do is under second view controller under view did load just say name label name label dot text is equal to name to display okay so i think we are good to go let's run our app build successful so the app is running let's type say hey yo okay and hit go so here it is head back let's try something else how are you do and hit go and here it is so guys that's how you pass data from one view controller to another keep watching thank you